This tomato plant behind me looks terrible. As a matter of fact, it's uh, withered, dried up, and it's in a state of dying, but I couldn't be happier. Why? It was predictable, inevitable. It has been growing for 111 days. And this is an example of Kratky non-circulating hydroponics, as I learned from Professor Kratky of the University of Hawaii. And this is the fill once and forget method that he developed for lettuce plants, watercress, and other vegetables. Now, while you might want to have a reservoir and gravity feed for a lot of your larger plants, fruiting plants in particular, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, melons. The fill and forget method was something that I had the benefit of being able to help uh, develop in terms of its use with larger fruiting plants. Uh, I tried using containers of different sizes and based off of the research from Professor Kratke, uh, found that his suggestion of four gallons per pound of the fruits off of it or what I've kind of found also sometimes depending on environmental uh, circumstances or particular varieties of plants, four to six gallons on average. So this drum that it's growing in is 14 gallons and my hopes were that I could take a tomato cutting and grow that and get between two and three pounds of tomatoes. Did that happen? It certainly did. And so as the nutrients were used up in this particular drum and as the plant's roots grew down towards the bottom of the drum, it reached a point where the nutrient was only about that deep compared to its original depth, which was right above the net cup. And based off of uh, Professor Cracky's research, uh, when a fill and forget container gets down to about 10% approximately of the nutrient remaining. What has happened is the plant has used the nutrients it needs and what it has not used tends to be a little bit more concentrated in the remaining water in the bottom. The reason this plant looks like it has not been watered is the salinity of the nutrient down in the bottom has reached a critical point in which the plant can no longer pull up the water that it needs to remain healthy, it terminates its growth. So this is a way that you could take and replicate with a particular plant. This was a Michaeldorf Golden Harvest tomato plant, but you'll find that there's a nice ratio of nutrients per gallon, as well as gallons per plant, if you'd like to scale this concept up or down, depending on what you'd like to have. Let's go ahead and pull this lid up and you can take a look at the uh, roots that are inside of the drum. The lid is just loosely on here right now. It's not secured down. The whole plant is rather dry. We'll tr try to uh, give you a better view of the plant. There are tomatoes on here, green as well as uh, golden ripe tomatoes. I could pick those, try to get them to continue to ripen, but I'm really not uh, interested in that. I've gotten all the tomatoes that I, I'd like to have. Now, something I'd like to point out is that this is a very compact growing plant and the moisture level in the container as well as at the base of the plant itself has resulted in tomato roots growing all over down towards the center where it was going into the drum. But as mentioned, here are the roots. The roots are really not that bad looking. As a matter of fact, they're fairly moist and healthy looking. The plant itself, as mentioned, the, the bottom roots, you know, are what grows down into the water. They uh, just get down to a point where these uh, feeder roots uh, cannot grow in the salinity that's remaining in the bottom of the, of the drum. Now, nutrient, as I mentioned, the 10% rule is a little flexible. If I were trying to show you, I could tip it a little bit. That's probably not a good view. How about 
I can try to indicate on the outside of the drum right about here. There's probably a little more than 10% of the nutrients left in here, and these were half strength nutrients, uh, Dine and Grow 936. But from here to here, all that nutrient lasted over the 111 days. Now, this was a prototype grow, and it's the first time that I've made an attempt to grow the uh, microdwarf tomato plant in a container such as this, because what you normally run into is with hydroponics, plants tend to get a little bit larger than what they would in a soil pot. Grow this particular plant and uh, continue to grow it. In hydroponics, especially indoors, it grows a uh, long period of time. It does produce over an extended period. You can do what I've done. You can grow for one harvest in the 14 gallons, or you could scale up to perhaps a uh, 20 uh, gallon trash drum and uh, get this uh, secondary harvest off the plant. Or if you moved, as I mentioned, to a gravity-fed reservoir that keeps the nutrient right about the uh, top of the drum, you could have this plant grow for probably uh, anywhere between two and four years. And as long as you keep pruning off the old growth, it will continue to put on new growth to be able to get uh, additional harvest off of the plant. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop those in below this uh, video. I'll try to get those answers as best possible. But appreciations to Bernie Cracky for introducing this method to me. Be sure to like or subscribe to my channel and make sure that you get all the additional tips that I'll be putting out on non-circulating hydroponics.